guess the same could be said for like Luxray in a sense. He has so many different type of characters. He has the Wario, the Falco, the um, what is it, the DDD, as yep. well as the Bowser we've seen like once or twice, and the um, Incineroar, the old favorite. So I think it's all deciding on who Luxray kind of picks first, as well as just like um, what do we expect to kind of like come down from this and it's just like i'm not sure i think that um when i know uh maximilian's a good player and i'm just kind of curious about like what um what will kind of react to luxray's gameplay because i think luxray like he definitely himself is a great player like we've seen like it's results alone like he does very well Ready? yep and it looks like they are off to the races let's go ahead and hop into the full game yeah, right after the bat. And we're seeing the Incineroar versus the Palutena. Now, this is definitely going to be like a kind of hard match for um, Lux right here. I think that overall, Maximilian just needs to play the smart. He needs to use what Palutena's strengths are and also not get intimidated or conditioned to be shielding like that. Um, I think that Luxray in disadvantage is going to have a really rough time against somebody like Palutena who, do you see like what she is doing right now? Oh no! That's what, so unfortunate. Teleport recovery characters do have um, kind of a habit of like, if you hold in too early on the teleport, um, or you hold the left too early, or just right depending on what side you're on, you do have the opportunity to accidentally like bounce off the side. and. That is something that it's super annoying, and I kind of like to make fun of for certain pal like just for most Palutena's just in general, uh, or any teleport recovery character in general, because a while back when this game had started, uh, there were certain stages that players said like nerfed teleport recovery characters, because if you were low enough, you would get caught underneath. But like, what character doesn't get caught like underneath like Pokemon Stadium, you know? Like we see it happen all the time. And like, if you're low enough on any stage, you're just not gonna make it back. So like, yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Just get, just get a little better, you know. But um, we are seeing Luxury using that that loss of the stock a bit to his advantage here. Not losing his stock after that wave of momentum that Maximilian had kind of just got lost. And we are seeing him kind of make his way back in, but. Every time that there's been some sort of way to punish Maximilian, Luxray has been in position to try and do so. And the most of the time he has been getting them, we need to see uh, Maximilian continue to go for these edge guards because I think that when you're this behind, oh, that was just a tad yeah. over the middle. Yep. Trying to trust his back air too much and is starting to get conditioned by these grabs. And we're seeing, I think this is one thing that Incinero really does well. Like, if you. Um, are in, like allow it to like, kind of eat at you is Incineroar really does like um, condition you to shield and a good Incineroar will really find those ways to make you shield to make you stand still too long to make you uh, re get punished for a bad reaction and that's kind of what we're seeing from Maximilian here is why he's kind of like losing this game three to one is that the couple bad reactions he's had over the course of his three stocks are like kind of adding up because i don't think he's playing bad like we saw at the beginning of this game like he was getting crazy edge guards that had the chance to lose or to end the luxury's first stock but just didn't because of a couple of small errors yep. and we're seeing the start of this that nice fade back with the back air kind of making um ooh, the luxury sdi way but oh <gasps> belly flop yeah, I think that may have just been a bit fe bit of fear from Maximilian from the SD he had earlier that game. He was holding a bit higher up and to the right than necessary there, and does get punished for doing so. We saw Luxray looking for that punish po like that punish possibility there after getting the side B, and I think that really all that was was just like um, Maximilian lost that game just due to fighting on his back foot the whole time, and then there it was just like. A mix of unsure um, what would happen. Would he pull too low in SD again? Would he um, snap to ledge better or worse? You know, like, and I think that's kind of what I meant about, or not meant, but Maximilian did just like semi recently start playing Palutena more often than not. Mm. He, um, I know he's a player who 
uh, has like spurts of like his interest in Ultimate, especially with the um, online era being so long. That's been like over a year now. Yeah. And so I know like recently I, a couple friends of his and me kind of been being like, hey, you should play Ultimate more. It's just, it's very good and it's fun. And like, he is a competitor at heart. So I know that he's probably uh, like, just wincing about that SD, so I'm sure we're gonna try and see a better performance from him. And we're seeing the run back to PS2. I definitely agree. I think that, like, Maximilian, uh, as long as he just plays a bit better, a bit more consistent, similar to these past games, he will not have that big of an issue um, keeping it contestable. But we are seeing these couple grabs here early on. Finally rolls through, gets the down air does not spike yet and there it is that conditioning that fear of being around like kill percent right against incinerar yep. and we saw him just hold shield instead of doing anything else and when you're palatina you have so many good options in the air against this character because like when you're on the ground you have like just too laggy and too slow of um grounded options to necessarily like punish a lot of them and as we salute lux right here He's really punishing Palutena whenever she is on the ground with that grab, with these nares, with these um, smash attacks. Nice wow. two frame, that's so good. And one other thing about uh, teleport recoveries that people kind of complain about in this game with two framing, you actually can like learn the timing for teleport recoveries because they will always be two frameable the same time. Like they aren't like separate or like depending on where or when like you do it it's just if you see that they're gonna teleport you count to like a certain number and once you know that timing you're just like that's it, as easy as that and that's kind of what's got maximilian into this really rough situation no he did he did the thing do not run up and shield against incinerator he's gonna grab you and we are seeing that conditioning but maximilian trying to gain back that confidence seeing the shield again does get the read on the F smash, and we are seeing the punish. Nair doesn't get too much off of it, as um, Maximilian does only get like 7% from that, just out of grab range, jumping around it. Seeing now that he needs to be in the air, reads the F smash again, that's so, that's so good, gets the Nair into back air. That's a good little cute combo there. Reads the side B again, starting to come alive in this game too, is Maximilian, but maybe too little too late? Oh, wow. That was, that was so ridiculous. Back here from Palutena, um, really knowing when uh, to use... That's it. Uh, yeah. Super clothesline. Yeah, right at the end. And I think that definitely was a good time for Oxford to get that game. Uh, like, you could kind of see Maximilian really coming alive at the end of that. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if they play again, like, or just later on, um, this be a much closer set. I think that um, both these players, like, they had each other's numbers in certain parts of this game. All right, we are at winner's finals, and BW Styles, I don't have to tell him to join up. <laughs> we are getting a, uh, a grand finals rematch from last week. Predictions, you think anything is going to change? Uh, interesting. Like... It's, I don't know. I think that Luxray was playing really solid that game. And I think it all depends on, like, genuinely who takes the first, like, couple games here. Like, maybe game one, game two. Yeah. 